What's up guys? Welcome Taurus. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with every Taurus watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Let's see. Hmm. You have an opportunity, Taurus, here to start something all over again. Someone wants to take a leap of faith with you, okay? Someone wants a brand new beginning with you. This is someone who was thinking probably you were a big risk, okay? Or someone who thought that it was a very risky relationship with you. Someone who had trust issues, okay? This person could have gone through hell and back in the past, okay? And right now, I mean, they are, they're ready to take a leap of faith with you. <clears throat> Definitely someone that you were dealing with where things didn't work out the way you wanted them to, okay? Something that was very disappointing in the past, the breakup, separation, whatever, right? But there was a lot of grieving over a loss, grieving over a breakup, divorce, whatever, okay? But there was too much disappointment, almost like someone who's traumatized, okay? Like, like what the fuck just happened, you know? A lot of pain in the past, okay? Regret, remorse, I'm, I'm hearing regret, okay? I feel this person who wants to take a leap of faith with you, this person has a lot of regret about what happened in the past. Whilst what you're doing right now is you're giving up on this situation. You could have waited very patiently for this person to come towards you. <clears throat> okay. You could have waited very patiently. You were manifesting this person. Okay. You were waiting probably for something. You're waiting for communication, waiting for this person to come travel towards you. Okay. You were manifesting and you were probably like, you know, were being very patient with the process here. However, you're giving up, you're turning your back to the situation because there's a lack of progress here. It's just getting you very frustrated, okay? And you're tired of waiting. Yeah, you're tired of waiting. In the near future, it's going to be a missed opportunity with the Four of Cups in reverse here, okay? <clears throat> because someone just didn't make a fucking move, maybe. Or probably this is someone here who's finally going to come out of isolation and is going to be ready to give you an offer after you walk away. Because you're dealing with someone here who has a lot of fear of rejection, which is why probably someone who's holding back from giving you an offer. We'll clarify. With the hermit in reverse here, this is how you see yourself, okay? So this is how you see yourself, which means that this is someone, you know, who's um, coming out of isolation, Okay. You could have ghosted this person, this person could have ghosted you. But whoever has done the ghosting out here, okay, <clears throat> withdrawn, isolated themselves, someone is flying solo out here. There. There has been a disconnect here and someone's been doing a lot of thinking, spending more time with themselves, you know, quiet, withdrawn, giving you the silent treatment, right, depressed. But this is someone who's gone within themselves, finding answers, okay. Someone who's thinking very practically, logically and rationally about this. Someone's coming out of isolation and they're wanting to return to you, okay? And they want a leap of faith with you. They are. You on the other hand here, you have done this with this person like a hundred million times. So I feel like you've had a lot of false starts with this person here. <coughs> with the nine of wands in reverse here. You know, you're, you're fed up, tired, beaten, wounded warrior kinds, you know, exhausted. You know, you're someone who's been very experienced with this person. You've gone through a lot. And uh, you were probably not giving up till probably a while ago, okay? You tried to make this work out with this person over and over again. You were fed up of fighting the same battle, but you still held on. You were very persevering, okay? You didn't give up till the end. But you're finally throwing in the towel, okay? You are. You're like, you know what? Uh, I have more important battles to fight than this one. I think you're like, screw it. With the six of wands in reverse here, the person out here in your hopes and fears with the six of wands in reverse here, I feel that you have a fear that something's still not going to work out, okay? Because you have a lot of low confidence and low self-esteem when it comes to this. You have a lot of uh, lack of self-belief. You don't believe in yourself, okay? You're doubting yourself you can make it work out. And this lack of success, this feeling of lack of success is only because of poor effort, okay? Being put in by you or you feel this is the person who's not going to put in the effort, okay? And uh, this person out here, whoever feels like this, this is someone who dreams of success, okay? But they're very insecure, okay, to go in with it. Because this is someone here who's constantly doubting. That's why there's a lack of forward, forward moment here. So this is someone who feels to take responsibility for their actions, okay? Someone's feeling very unloved, neglected, you know, they don't feel valued, you know. They feel like a loser here. Maybe you're not giving attention to this person out here, okay? 
and this person feels very neglected but that's kind of person who's coming in towards you what you give up on them with a star in reverse here again a very very negative mindset okay very negative mindset there's a lot of healing that is required here okay someone's not healed yet someone still needs to be healed okay something will happen at the right time the star is in the reverse which means that it's almost like it's testing your patience you know it's testing your faith is more i'll say not patience the star in reverse is where the universe is testing you testing you how badly you want this you know and someone's giving up losing faith that it's just never going to work out yeah this is no longer wanting to ha having faith or hope you know lacking the courage or having a hard time healing <clears throat> Let's see. What's the fool here? What's the fool here? Yeah, they're watching you. Watching, spying, looking, stalking. This is someone who's thinking of how to communicate with you. Yeah, they're very sure about what they want. This is someone here who sees the situation for what it is, okay? This person was probably in denial all this while about what they need to do. They were keeping... It was like a stalemate, okay? You both were uh, not sure about... Uh, you both were not being able to make a decision, okay? But this is someone who's finally making a decision. They have the blindfold off and they know what they want. And the, what they want is the fool here. They want to take a brand new beginning with you. They want the sleep of faith, okay? So expect communication. Probably not when you expect it, when you want it to, but this will just be all of a sudden. They're very clear about what they want. <clears throat> no longer living in denial okay they're making a decision finally like they see things for what they, it, it is okay they see the reality of the situation no longer hiding no longer trying to get away escaping what's the five of cups in the past yeah see a lot of disappointment around the situation fuck we have the ten of cups dude who were you with this is at th this is marriage commitment this is contentment in the situation this is uh, happiness a family dynamic you know you were very happy with this person out here but something went wrong and you had to walk away in the past year ten of cups now i'm getting here with the ten of cups here i mean you know probably you were dealing with someone very immature because we have the page of wands here you could be dealing with someone you know who was um you know someone who lives the moment okay so someone when it comes to the ten of cups when it comes to that emotionally fulfilling dynamic emotionally they were in it with you okay but when it came to getting into something more serious something more committed that's when they weren't giving it to you and you realize that you know what that you were the only one giving into this I don't see one-sided so much, but I see more like, yes, you guys were in a very happy relationship. But something went wrong here, okay, because of which things just didn't work out, you know. And you had to break up, you had to walk away from this, you had to emotionally disconnect, but at least you did walk away in the past. <clears throat> All right. You walked away and now you're waiting for this person to come in because you're probably like, this person will reach out to you, you know, because you had something, you know. You had something very concrete, very, very um, fulfilling in the past year. So you probably walk waiting for them to come towards you when you walked away, you know. What's the three of wands in reverse here? But right now you're fed up of waiting. Why the three of wands in reverse? Yeah, you're focused on your career, your goals, your money. This is someone that, you know what, you're no longer investing into this person. Probably something was a bad investment or you just feel that this person just never gave you that stability, security. You feel very insecure in this person's connection. They never gave you the, that concrete foundation that you were looking for. They never took action towards you. They never uh, made this uh, all about you both, okay? It was always you probably who did all the work here, you know? I'm looking this, I, I, I feel like you're dealing with someone, you know, almost like, you know, who's non-committal, you know. See, that's what I'm saying. Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment, but that's not commitment exactly. That's more like the fairy tale, right? <clears throat> you could be dealing with someone who is just not taking action or not making you a priority or not taking the right approach towards you. Someone who's very flaky, like flaky as fuck is what I'm getting, okay? Very flaky, non-committal, okay? Someone who just refuses or runs away from the idea of commitment okay they were just not taking the lead you know this person could be very fearful you know of feeling being trapped or overburdened with relationships that's the kind of person you were dealing with this person was severely commitment phobic that you were dealing with okay they loved you 
Agreed. You're asking me if I love you. They do. They did. Whatever. But why is the queen of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, see, now you're choosing to be single. You realize your worth. You realize your value. You're okay on your own, babe. You're okay on your own. Your focus is your money now. You know, you're, you're, maybe this is someone you who's acting single. Okay. But right now I feel you're the one who's acting single. You're all about your money, all about yourself. You're throwing yourself into work, taking care of yourself, financially independent, very focused on your independence rather than focusing on a relationship or wanting to make a relationship work. Sweetheart, you're very self-sufficient right now. Okay. You're not making this connection or any connection of priority right now. You know, your worth. You got your money, you got your shit together. You know, you don't, you know, you don't need anybody. And that's why you're giving up. <clears throat> why is the four of cups in reverse here in the near future? What's the four of cups in reverse in the near future? Yeah, seven of pentacles. Someone's waiting and watching, you know, something is a missed opportunity in the near future, probably because someone takes too long too long okay someone this is someone who's just waiting 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 for things to come into fruition waiting for a very 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 long time you know to make a move this is someone very patiently waiting you know like who's just relaxing breathing you know like let's breathe let's relax it'll happen contemplating if they should put in the work or not you know and that's why there's a missed opportunity yeah someone took too long why is the seven of pentacles seven of swords in reverse yeah they're coming back this is someone here who wants to come back towards you but i think it's going to be a missed opportunity because they were just like waiting there forever temperance see bottom of the deck this is <coughs> i don't want to say it's a bad card but dude the temperance is like staying cool calm collected but this is someone who's too slow, you know, too patient in the process. They want a reconciliation, but this is someone who's waiting for the right time, you know. They're just going with the flow, you know. Again, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And that's why it's a missed opportunity in the near future here. Seven of Swords in reverse. This is someone who has a tendency to keep coming back to you, huh? That's the kind of person you're dealing with. You'll know who I'm talking about, okay? But definitely someone who wants to keep coming back to you. They hide away. They run away from you. They, they, they're deceptive about their feelings, you know. They try to escape this connection when it gets serious, you know, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they were never very honest about their feelings, okay? They're coming towards you. But the thing is that you're like, yeah, sure. Um, what's the hermit in reverse? <clears throat> yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. They want, they love you. This person is ready to open up. They love you. They want you. They're ready to open up emotionally. This is someone who wants a brand new emotional cycle with you. They want to restart the cycle. You put an end to this, whatever it was. Okay. This is someone who's thinking of going towards a brand new emotional beginning experience or restarting a cycle with you. This is someone who makes you happy or you make them happy why keep it both ways they want a renewal here okay they want you to forgive them and they want to love again yeah but i don't think you give a shit to them this is someone where a situation where things were just getting nowhere or this is just they look at you as someone who's just not ready to give in they see you as someone who's not investing into this connection anymore, okay? Or they just see you, see this as a connection that's not going anywhere. And now they're ready to come up and open, okay? So I feel in the past, this was a connection that was going nowhere, yeah? Because someone was not feeding or nurturing this connection or not giving this connection the attention that it needed. Yeah. I don't think you're feeding this connection anymore, okay? Because you're feeling very drained. You feel you have nothing to give, you know? This person never felt, made you feel secure in this connection, yeah but this person wants a brand new beginning with you they do okay they're opening up they're coming back towards you okay they want to return towards you knight of cups in reverse could be dealing with someone hot and cold someone who is just not ready to express themselves emotionally see that's what i'm getting here the ten of cups is here okay so it was as good as the ten of cups here okay even if it wasn't okay this person you were very happy with them they were happy with you too but it was like probably let's move it to the next level and that's when this person was like running for the hills <coughs> what's the knight of wands in reverse here what's the knight of wands in reverse yeah 
you have a lot of love for this person, you know, with the Queen of Cups here. This could also be someone here who's letting their guards down, you know. Nine of Wands in reverse is also letting your guards down, wanting to be vulnerable, okay. Someone who's gone through a lot in the past, okay. So they have trust issues, but now this person is probably wanting to be vulnerable, okay. And uh, they don't have any boundaries anymore, okay, because this person's, they just are very emotional about you. They love you. They want you. Ooh, Ten of Swords. They're definitely someone who you've had an ending with and things ended badly. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but I mean, it's so funny, right? That after things end, that's when people realize, oh my God, I really love this person so much. Like, what the hell? What were you doing all this while, bro? You know, yeah. There's someone here who is, who you had an ending with, right? They're letting their boundaries down. They love you. This could also be you, okay, who's saying screw it, like I said before, right? Someone who's just throwing in the towel here. You have a lot of love here, but with the Ten of Swords here, you're choosing to end this, okay? There is unfinished business, okay? So there is one person here who's just not ready to accept this as an ending or someone who just does not want this to get over. They don't. <clears throat> someone felt backstabbed, betrayed, and cheated out here, okay? And this is... This is the same person here who's like, you know what, I'm done. The love is there. Taurus, you love them, they love you, okay? It's there. They want a brand new beginning with you, okay? Whereas you, on the other hand, you have a lot of love for them. But I feel that you're trusting your intuition, you're trusting your guide here. Because you don't trust this person, right? They were, they really betrayed you big time. You know? You won't expect them this. Okay, what's the six of wands in reverse? <coughs> something didn't move forward here okay this is a soulmate soul type connection someone definitely from your past that something didn't move forward with or something was not successful this is a soulmate soul type connection someone you had the best of memories with yeah and with the wheel here you want you're moving forward or this is someone you know who is not confident enough uh, someone who you dealt with in the past, okay? Maybe this person is thinking very negatively about the situation. Could be you, could be them. But with the feel of fortune here, you know, luck is changing, okay? Things are moving forward. Things are moving forward, okay? Or this is in your emotions, but you definitely want to move things forward with this person. You're waiting for a change, okay? You're waiting for the wheel to turn in your favor. But for right now, you're thinking very negatively about the situation, okay? You don't have the best of memories with this person because it just didn't work out in the past, okay? Could be because you were dealing with someone who was an attention-seeking or not like I like to say that, but definitely Six of Wands is also someone who likes the attention, okay? And probably this person got a lot of attention from other people and they were insecure that if they're with you, they won't get attention from other people or someone who was just commitment-phobic is what I'm getting, okay? What's the star in reverse? Why is this the outcome? Yeah, see, because someone's, again, not opening up emotionally. Someone refuses to open up. Someone refuses to be vulnerable. This is someone who will think about you all day. They'll stress about you all day. You know, they'll be up at night, stressing over you, sleepless nights. They'll ponder, 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 and they won't take any action. That's the kind of person you're dealing with here. They won't open up. They won't express themselves. They don't want to be vulnerable. Someone, you know, who's not sure about, they, they procrastinate so much, you know, when it comes to you. You know, and you're losing faith in this connection because it's just there's just no momentum here. Hierophant, see, this is someone you wanted commitment with, or this is someone who's now thinking of commitment with you. Okay, they're stressing about it, but the problem here is they won't do anything about it. Lack of action. See, Ace of Cups is not really an action card. Okay, it's not really an action card here. I would really like to see more like someone who's coming towards you like the king of wands or the knight of swords here. You know, someone who's rushing in at least to communicate, whatever, right? I don't see too much emotions, too much love out here, right? But what are we doing about it? Nada. We're not. And that's why in the past, eight of cups, finito, that's what you said. Nine of pentacles. You're like, you know what? I'm good. I'm good on my own. If I don't get what I want, I know my worth. I don't get what I want. You're out. Now they see things for what they are okay but again they're still showing up as the page right so they're watching spying stalking not really an action card they want to communicate but when when is that research going to stop when are they going to stop investigating the case and just act on it is what i'm getting 
they're scared you know because things didn't work out in the past right so this person is still not sure okay you have a lot of luck for them but again ten of swords here something ended badly here and you're just like giving up on it you're giving up once this person out here they want a new beginning with you okay they're coming out of isolation but <coughs> Empress in reverse, right? They still see no growth, no expansion because you're not feeling this connection or they just feel it's something that's going nowhere because you also, you're on your own. You know, they're catching on that energy. You're on your own here. They want to return back to you, but it's a missed opportunity in the near future because there's just no fucking action. I hate to say this. <clears throat> this person is spiritually, divinely guided towards you, but it's just, you're just going to have to wait till they move their ass, okay? That's what I have for you. All right, Taurus. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. If it does, do leave your comments below. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time.